So into the pot, what I am going to do is add the hamburger meat. And this is one pound and I seasoned it with As I was saying, I seasoned it with garlic salt, onion powder, black pepper, and a little bit of regular salt. And we'll give that a bit of a stir. Here we have our can of minestrone soup, and I will Add that and I will do three cans of this and for this is a condensed soup so you need to add water to it As you saw here, for each can of soup, I add one can of water. You may notice that there's a date written on here. Whenever we buy canned goods, I always like to buy to uh, put on here the date that I purchased it. We'll go ahead and turn the range on. And what I'll do is I'll bring this to a boil. I've got all the ingredients. So if we went over the ingredients again, you have one can of a ranch style beans. You have one pound of hamburger meat seasoned away, whatever way you like it. Then you have three cans of minestrone soup. And uh, it gives it a nice flavor. And you can of course season this however you want. What I'll do at this step here is I'll bring this to a boil. Once it comes to a boil, I'll reduce it down to a simmer and I'll cover it and then I'll let that go for probably 15, 20 minutes or so. You could, uh, everything in here is cooked, you could go ahead and, and once this warmed up to temperature, you could eat it uh, right then. I find that it helps everything to blend flavor-wise. Uh, if you, again, bring it to a boil and then let it cook uh, all together for about 15 to 20 minutes however you do, but it's a very simple recipe. It's a way that you can uh, buy, like let's say if you've got some really good hamburger meat, sometimes the hamburger meat, if you're getting the pasture fed stuff and grass fed stuff can be uh, a little bit more expensive. And this is a good way to be able to stretch that pound of meat over um, several meals. You would probably get the yield on this would probably be about eight or nine cups, depending on how you wanted to do it. If you wanted to get a little bit more out of it, you could either add another can of minestrone soup, and that would probably give you a couple more cups or so out of that for uh, single cup servings, if you, if you wanted to do it that way, if you measured the servings by one cup yield. As you can see, we have the soup at a gentle boil. What I'll do now is I'll reduce the heat and let it simmer for about 15, 20 minutes, like I said before. And then you just let it cool and it is good to go. The soup actually freezes and reheats quite well, so you can make as big a batch as you would like and freeze it in whatever portions that you want. We generally tend to freeze them in about one cup portions. And we find that for a nice kind of smaller lunch, that one cup serving suits us just fine. If you got any questions about this soup or how I made it, go ahead and leave some questions down in the comments and I'll get back with you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys next time.